At last night's Chamorro debate, the gubernatorial team sat down to focus on the issues instead of on each other. Students asked their questions to the candidates in Chamorro, and the answers were to be given in Chamorro. However, some candidates were more fluent than others. I'm not gonna, you know, it's not just the language, it's the heart and the soul. Regardless of Chamorro fluency, the candidates came to speak, and that's exactly what they did. The questions focused on different issues relating to Chamorro people and Chamorro culture. Senator Tenorio spoke on one of the key components of their campaign. In our island, what we were raised to do is help people. And that's what I think is a big part of what the Cabo Tenorio campaign is about. And I think it's a big part of what we're all about, is doing things for your fellow man. It was only a matter of time until the hotly contested issue of GovGuam healthcare came up. Senator Calvo addressed these concerns while providing some insight into his plan. I'm not going to make it as simple as my opponents have said it. This is complicated, but it means hearing any, every aspect of healthcare in Guam. It means we will open up and have a, a, a government that is conducive to more healthcare providers and health insurance companies wanting to do business in government. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna pay the bills on time and we're gonna be open. The military buildup was another critical issue brought up. Senator Frank Uggen stressed how important it is to make the buildup work for Guam and not the other way around. The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, we've got 12 to $15 billion that's gonna be invested in Guam. The people of Guam deserve absolutely no less from anywhere to three to four billion dollars so that we can enhance our infrastructure, our roadways, our water, our power, our wastewater, not only for the military buildup, but for a win-win situation between the local residents, the people of Guam, and also the military. Former Governor Carl Gutierrez spoke tomorrow the entire time. He left the audience with these remarks. <laughs> Look at me. You know where my heart is. What you need is an experienced man for our island. Don't practice with government. We don't need someone to practice government. Tomorrow we are English. Both candidates look to get their messages across. With time winding down until election day, every chance to address voters is crucial. Keeping it local for Guam News Watch, I'm Kristen Pico.